let's talk about a very special Dakar competitor today. The Ford Raptor T1 Plus of Czech driver Martin Prokop. Since 2005, Prokop is a popular Czech WRC driver and, as many other Dakar drivers, got into Rally Raid after a while. He drove a Ford Fiesta rally car of his own team MP Sports and worked together with M Sport in the UK. The experienced Rally Raid team Overdrive from Belgium was looking for a WRC driver in 2015 because Dakar stages became very similar to WRC. They offered the seat to Prokop and he accepted the offer. So in 2016 he participated in a state-of-the-art Overdrive Toyota Hilux and reached 14th position overall. For 2017 he decided to build his own Dakar truck with his own team, MP Sports. It's a small team based in Prokop's hometown, Jelava, in Czech Republic. But they have a lot of WRC experience. Together with Prokop's experience from the year before with Toyota, they built their own car. And as before, they partnered with Ford again. They built a Ford F-150. And although the preparation time in the first year was short, the results got better and better. In 2017, he reached 11th place. In 2018, 7th and 6 in 2019. This year Prokop and his team improved the car further and are aiming for 5th. Currently they are 7th overall. So how can a small rally team from Czech Republic build their own Dakar competitor? And how come it's so successful and reliable? Let's take a closer look at the car. It's a prototype, so although it might look like a Ford Raptor, it's completely different underneath. So very similar to the Toyota is, that the car is based on a tube frame, has the engine sitting low and behind the front axle and the gearbox behind it, so pretty much in the middle of the car. But instead of putting the spare wheels underneath, Prokop's car has them at the sides, just like the buggies. Good thing about this is that it's easy to fix the wheels here and you don't need to worry about a tight compartment underneath. It also keeps the inertia around the z-axis low, but this position also increases the center of gravity. Also, MP Sports kept the radiator in front, while others changed to a safer position in the back. But a front radiator guarantees a good air inlet, because it doesn't have to flow around the cabin first. And it keeps the amount of water in the system low, which reduces weight, and the number of connections, which can leak, is reduced as well. They chose to run a 5 liter Mustang V8 engine, which is a simple, relatively cheap and reliable engine. Interesting here is that they run this engine with a single exhaust on the passenger side. The power goes through the gearbox and is then split to front and back through the mid differential. Because the spare wheels are at the sides and the exhaust is on the far side underneath the co-driver, there's more space than at other cars underneath to work on the car. The differential has a separate frame for quicker changes. Like at other Dakar trucks, the cage ends at the rear axle and the car is basically empty behind that. And Prokop's car has two coilovers at one wheel, while other Dakar cars just have one per wheel. There is a small radiator exit where team members could warm their hands. This could be from a rear mounted oil cooler. The F-150, or now Raptor, proved its reliability over the years, but there are two weak points. The engine is not the most powerful one. And because it's naturally aspirated, it loses power significantly at higher altitudes. So soft sand dunes and higher altitudes are not the favorite environment of Prokop's car. And the other weakness last year was aerodynamics. The car was lacking top speed and to improve that, aerodynamic changes are cheaper than changing to another engine and potentially changing the frame for that. So Prokop's team brought an impressive aerodynamic upgrade to this year's Dakar Rally. Most important job was to reduce the wake behind the car, because that is an under pressure area which is pulling the car back. So they created effectively a long tail bodywork. It doesn't end right after the rear wheel arch, it extends further like the road car. And they designed a cover on top of that to gently pull the flow to the center of the car. It's pretty much the same as what Nissan did years ago, just without rear wing. Because these cars don't have a diffuser which could counteract the low pressure above the car, such a bodywork creates a lot of lift in comparison to last year. But if Prokop as the driver is okay with that, they can save the wing and the drag. But it's not just that. In fact, it looks like they developed this bodywork in CFD and spent a good amount of time on details. 
The front wheel arches, for example, are pretty much just straight plates, similar to the straight wing profiles on the Mini. Or the bodywork at the side, which is now keeping the spare wheel height until the very end. In general, there are no unnecessary inlets and the body looks very clean. There is just one large inlet in front for the radiator, but no outlets at the sides like other Dakar cars. So it looks like they use a more traditional flow through the engine compartment and out at the back. There is also just one Naker duct on the bonnet for engine or cabin air and nothing else. The two Naker ducts at the sides could be for oil and damper cooling. The interior has one WRC style inlet on the roof and an outlet at the side window. They positioned that high, so the Naker duct behind it doesn't catch the warm low energy air. They changed to other mirrors this year and one very cool feature are the turning vanes on top of the A-pillars to avoid the typical A-pillar separation. So that's similar to turning vanes on a truck to avoid side separation around the sharp corner. So Martin Prokop's Ford Raptor T1 Plus is an impressive car with a massive aero update which solves issues other manufacturers might solve in the future. This small team is working at an extremely high level and it's great to see them in the top 10. With an upgrade to a turbo engine like Century did it this year, they could also solve their remaining weakness. So how do you like Martin Prokop's impressive Dakar team and their car? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other in-depth videos of Dakar competitors in the playlist below.